everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. So you can buy this at a any high-end makeup provider that you have that sells Bare Minerals. Um, you can get it at Sephora, um, Ulta, those are the only two places that I saw them at. I got mine at Sephora and it retails for $29. So basically this is a BB cream, CC cream, and tinted moisturizer all in one and in, normally in a product like that it is the product around it and then they put the water in the inside but this product is a whole new like evaluation of a tinted moisturizer because they put the water in the outside and the product in the inside so the water hits your skin first so it does not break you out or anything like that. So it says treat your skin every day with a powerhouse of skincare benefits infused with naturally radiant color in one easy step. A multitasking genius. This lightweight skin quenching gel cream smooths on effortless, effortlessly with the right amount of coverage, instantly your complexion reveals a dewy, healthy looking glow. And then it says marine botanicals to help hydrate and replenish thirsty skin, mineral electrolytes to help energize skin, a skin protecting antioxidant acts like skin's bodyguard to help defend against environmental stressors. And it is a non-chemical and it has SPF 30 and it is lightweight sheer to medium coverage so you can put it on once and it will give you like a light coverage and then if you put it on twice it will give you like about a medium and then it's clinically tested dermatologist tested hypoallergenic and it is formulated without oil silicone parabens and fragrance so basically it's just really good for your skin and it feels like you're wearing nothing so I'm going to tell you my opinion about it now so I've had it for a couple weeks and I noticed that you only need to put a little bit on your hand, like a little tiny dab and it will go the whole way across your face and it doesn't necessarily fully cover everything because you can still see pimples and imperfections but it just makes your skin look even and healthy and it makes it look like your actual skin which I really enjoy and then if you're going to a special occasion and you still want that lightweight feel you can put on two applications meaning put it on once and then put on it put it on again and then that will make it have a little bit more coverage and cover up that redness a little bit more but I find that I'll put this on then put on concealer over the spots that it didn't cover as well and then it looks perfectly fine and it feels really nice and lightweight which I love because it feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing at all and when I have used this I have noticed that it does not whatsoever break out my skin. In fact, my skin has been looking the best it has in a really long time since I've been using this product. And like I said, I've been using it for a couple weeks. And as you can see, if you've been watching my videos over the past couple weeks, I notice myself that my skin has been having a lot less breakouts and it hasn't been as dry. So I really do think that this is a great product. And you guys know I really love drugstore products. I love how affordable and how nicely they work and this is probably, I think this is the first high-end foundation I ever got and I really love it. I wouldn't necessarily splurge like this for any ordinary foundation but when I looked up reviews and I realized what this product actually did, I decided to try it for myself and it truly is worth it. It is nothing like the drugstore BB creams and CC creams I have. It's, it does not even compare to those because it does such wonders for my skin and even though it's $29, I really, really think it's worth it. So I'm going to talk about the packaging and shades now. So this is what the packaging looks like here and most foundations you get about an ounce. This has 1.18 ounces which isn't that much more but it gives you a little bit more product which I like. And I have the shade Vanilla 02 and they have like a huge ranges of like a huge range of shades if you go to Sephora they can do like the color IQ or whatever on your skin so they can pick out the perfect shade but they have like um oh what do they call like warm undertones cool undertones any tone of skin you have they have the shade for you which is really nice and since it's such a light product if you do happen to get like a little shade off it's not going to be that much of a difference since it's not like a full coverage foundation so I like that about it as well 
And I did want to briefly mention the wear. Throughout the day, it does get a little oily, so I would definitely recommend this more for dry skin because even though my skin is dry, it still got a little oily, and I did feel the need to touch up maybe once or twice, so if you had oily skin, it might get a little messy. So this is definitely leaning towards the more dry skin, but I like to apply a primer and a setting spray over it. I haven't tried it without that because that's what I always do for my face makeup. But when I'm outside and sweating and stuff, because this is definitely more of a summer foundation, um, when I'm outside and sweating and all that stuff, um, it does not slide off my face. It all, obviously if you're sweating, your makeup's going to get a little oily. But if you're in a cold area, it's not going to get oily probably at all. But since I'm outside and stuff, it gets a little bit like that. But it shouldn't be an issue if you have dry skin. But like I said, if you have oily, it might be a little problematic. So my overall um, opinion on this foundation is that I feel like it is perfect for dry skin and I definitely think you guys should try it out. If you have oily skin and you still want to try it out, then go for it. But definitely if you have dry skin, I feel like this is perfect and it has great wear time and even though it's expensive, I feel like it's really worth it because I do have some drugstore products I like that are pretty similar to this, but I feel like none of them compare since none of them have that formula that this does which I really do feel like helps my skin and stuff so I'd rather spend a little more to actually help my face than just be putting crap on my face and get all broken out and spend cheaper amount of money so I feel like in the long run this is definitely a better bang for your buck so yeah so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already because I have some great summer videos planned for you guys that I know you're going to love. And I actually now have a vlog channel that you should totally go check out. It's called Allie Beauty Vlogs. And then I also have an Instagram that is AllieBeauty28 and I will put it right here. So that is all my social media. I know that's a mouthful so I will have it in the description box if you forgot any of it but you guys should totally just stay active with my account because I have different stuff going on with each of those that the other doesn't have and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any other products you would like me to review comment them down below and I will try to go purchase them or review them or whatever. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!